Hey guys, it's Nikos with TechThro, and today we'll be taking a look at Total Finder for Mac OS X. Total Finder adds some very useful features to Mac OS X's regular Finder. So let's go ahead and take a look at the options and preferences we have. At the top we have this icon, and of course you can hide that in the preferences. This is just your regular Finder preferences window, but at the end here you can access your Total Finder preferences. So if you go ahead and hide this icon, you can go ahead and access these preferences from your regular total from your regular uh, finder preferences so let's move backwards here you've got your about tab and I'll link you guys to where you can get this of course in the description moving to the left you've got your tweaks so first and foremost you can show system files and that shows you all the hidden system files that uh, Mac OS 10 doesn't like to show you as you can see Let's go ahead and hide those just for the sake of the video. And below that you've got folders on top. What this does is it puts your folders all at the top. So right now you can see everything is alphabetical. With folders on top it'll sort your folders al alphabetically and then your files alphabetically. So uh, Windows users will be very familiar with that. Let's go ahead and check that. And as you can see my folders are nicely laid out on the top and then my files are below. And I actually really like that feature, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Always maximize. I'm not sure what that does, to be honest. That's what that does. So, <laughs> I guess it always maximizes if you hit the plus button instead of, uh, you know, toggling between those two sizes. It'll go ahead and maximize it completely. That's also a nice feature. For the menu and dock, we can hide the icon in the menu bar. So at the top here, you can see it's gone now. And keep original dock icon. If you take a look at the bottom, if I uncheck that, you'll see the new total finder icon. It kind of looks like there's a tab at the top. It also looks like a folder. I like the original icon, so I went ahead and clicked that. Freelance windows, I'm not sure what that means. If you guys know, if you guys use, if you guys use this and you know what that means, please let me know. And narrow tabs, as you can see, I've got a tab here. And if I go ahead and click that, I'll get this uh, kind of a wider view. I like the uh, more narrow view, so go ahead and keep that checked. A sepsis feature prevents uh, DS store files to be created. So as you saw when I went ahead and showed my system files, there's a DS store file here. And that kind of keeps your uh, folder preferences. So if I go ahead and change the you know the way this folder looks the size of the icons or something like that uh, it it stores that preference in this DS store icon so what this will allow you to do is cache all those DS store icons in one folder or you could go ahead and prevent OS 10 from creating them all together the visor feature is really interesting it's kind of a different way to use the finder when you go ahead and click that you can set a shortcut Right now it's option tilde, so if I hit option tilde, it'll show and hide the finder. It'll come out uh, from the bottom like that. And this is really useful for people who like to use a keyboard exclusively. Some people hate using the mouse or the trackpad, and they kind of want to get things done real quick. They need to access the finder without touching the mouse. Go ahead and use the visor feature, and it uh, pops it up real nice. And you've got some options for that. You can hide it while pressing escape. Or you could go ahead and press option tilde again to hide it. And you could change the way the window fades in and out. If you don't want it to fade in and out or slide in and out, you could go like that. It seems a little clunky, but it definitely works. So let's go ahead and just use Finder regularly. And I'll show you guys some new features. Or rather, features of Total Finder. So let's go ahead and create new tabs. You can do that by clicking this uh, plus icon over here. Or of course you can press control plus, I'm sorry, command T. Just like in, you know, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, any browser. Any pretty much uh, tabbed app uses uh, command T. Or most of them rather. And these come in really handy because if I wanted to, say I went to my pictures folder and I wanted to transfer this photo of me to my to this folder over here all I'd have to do is drag it in with that tab 
If I open a tab in a new window, just go ahead and drag it out. You also have a dual pane view and you access that by pressing command plus U. And as you can see, I have this nice dual pane view. So I can go ahead and transfer files from one to the other. Let's go ahead back into my pictures folder and put that photo back in there. Very nice and easy. You've got your shortcuts on either side as well. And that's about it for Total Finder. It's, it's really basic. You could use it uh, heavily or you can make it really lightweight if you only want the tabs feature and the dual pane view feature you could go ahead and use those without anything else if you do like that visor view go ahead and do that you've got a ton of options so I'll link you guys in the description check it out if you use Mac OS 10 it's very uh, useful it can cut down a lot of time on your work and that's about it thank you guys for watching Check out our other videos. We've got a giveaway going right now for a Spec Pixel Skin HD for the iPhone 4. And that giveaway is about to end in the next couple of days. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.